Hey everyone, it's is Sherry Vegas here and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hello. So in this tutorial, we are going to be making Christmas wreaths because it is the holiday season. Well, it is nearly upon us, so I thought I'd get a jump start on my wreaths. So I have come up with three different ideas for three very, very different Christmas themed wreaths or more like holiday themed wreaths. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make this one. So this one is a little bit Australiana inspired because I've used all Australian natives. So stay tuned if you wanna find out how you can make your own wreath just like this. To create this Australiana inspired wreath, you're gonna need a few little items. One, I just bought this cute little glittered bird from Spotlight. Most of these items actually do come from Spotlight. I also then got a hoop, which is from Spotlight as well. I chose to go with gold because that is a theme in my house. And then I got some floristry wire. This is actually super handy. I bought it in green because I thought it would hide really nicely in my flowers. And then I've got a bunch of dried flowers. So I've had these for a little while and I thought it'd be a great use to um, use these for the hoop. When you are creating your own hoop, don't feel like you have to use the same flowers that I'm using. I'm just using these because I already had them in my house, but you could also use some fake flowers and they would look fantastic in this as well. Or you could use fresh flowers if you just wanted it for a special occasion and not to actually last throughout the holiday season. So I have getting my foliage and I'm sort of starting to work out my placement. I decided I wanted this to be not fully around my hoop, that I wanted to see the gold and that I kind of wanted it to be off center with how I place my um, leaves. So I'm starting out with my big leaves first and then I'm going to work my way and slowly add in my smaller flowers towards the center of my arrangement. With my forestry wire that I did purchase from Spotlight as well, I'm just slowly wrapping that around the base of my leaves and then I do go up a little bit through the foliage just so that way it's secure along and it starts to curve up along my hoop. And I'm slowly adding bit by bit, just securing it as I do and kind of working out my design from there. I know I wanna have some statement flowers towards the center. So I'm just starting off with kind of my filler leaves and flowers first, and then I'll slowly be adding in my statement flowers. And each time I add in a new layer, I just use my floristry wire to wrap it in place and secure it. Like I said before, I wanted this to kind of be a bit of an off-centered style hoop. So on the other side, I'm not gonna do it as big. And that way I kind of get that really pretty, I guess, asymmetrical look to my reef. And I'm literally just following the same process where I'm wrapping my foliage um, at the base and then doing a few loose wraps around the top of my foliage just so it starts to curve around my hoop and doesn't just stick out but I'm following the same sort of pattern that I did firsthand where I did the leaves and then I added the smaller flowers and then I will add the same big statement flower on the other side but just slightly smaller to add that asymmetrical feel to it. This is probably one of the simplest Christmas sort of hoop slash reefs you can make and I feel like it's super effective and it's really different and unique and because I'm from Australia it's very Australiana themed. By doing this in layers with the leaves first and wrapping those and then adding the small flowers and then wrapping those and then the statement flowers, it actually starts to hide all the wire from doing the layer after layer. And then I've added these cute little flowers into the center and used them to hide the bit of the wire in the center and you actually don't see any of it, which is super helpful. So that's kind of why I did it in layers instead of bunching them all up and doing them in one go because it actually kept hiding the wire as I was doing it. 
Once I was happy with my floral layout, I then just cut my wire and I just wrapped it around a few times in the same spot and kind of crimped it down. The great thing about using this wire is it really holds its shape and stays in place. A few of these big leaves were just kind of sticking out and they were annoying me so I just cut a little bit extra of my floristry wire and then I just wrapped that around. It was such a tiny amount that you don't even see it um, and the reason why I just cut a little bit extra is because I didn't want to wrap that wire all the way back up through the other leaves and potentially break them or kind of push them in so I just cut a little bit and just secured it around a few of the stray leaves. Now it's time to add the finishing touches to my piece and that is with my glittery dove. So I've just used a pin and I've pushed it through to make a guideline. If you wanted to you could always hot glue this in place or super glue it but because I've used wire for all the rest of this project I thought I'd use wire for this part as well. So I've just pushed the wire through the center of my dove and then I'm just bringing the wire down on either side and now I'm just kind of working out the placement. Once you're happy with where your little dove is sitting and you don't have to add a dove in if you don't want to you could add butterflies or you could just choose not to add anything or even something more Christmassy like holly or those poin poinsettia flowers that everyone has around Christmas time and then once I've got it into place I just wrap my wire around just like I did with the flowers beforehand and that's literally how easy it is to create this hoop Thank you to everyone that just watched that tutorial. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you are inspired to make your own roof just like this, I'd love to see how they turn out. So please tag me on Instagram under Sherry Vegas so I can see how your beautiful Australiana themed reefs turned out. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe as I love to do tons of DIY, art, and home decorating projects all the time. Thank you so much, guys.